I'm Wahid Bimji at the University of Edinburgh, uh, working on the Atlas experiment at the Large Hadron Collider. When I was at school, I always thought that the answers to the universe were found in, in physics. Uh, and it just seemed like, particularly in school science, where everything is becomes increasingly connected to everything else, so electricity and magnetism are one and the same thing, and uh, this is connected with light. Uh, and then as you go into university, you learn more and more of the, connect, the fundamental connections between things in, in science. And uh, it just seemed like a, 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 a voyage of discovery, if you like, into, into how things work. Well, it was extremely exciting, really. I mean, I, I would say that, um, you know, but, uh, a year before the discovery, it was starting to look as though we wouldn't find the Higgs boson at all at the Large Hadron Collider. And, and many people, including me, were, were sceptical that there would be. Um, and then to have uh, almost the whole area in which the Higgs could be discovered excluded, uh, and then to actually see hints of the, the particle in that region uh, was really, well, genuinely exciting, I would say. <laughs> and so, I mean, there was quite a while before the public announced discovery where it was becoming clearer and clearer from the, uh, from the various groups working within the experiment that there would be a discovery. But until that day, uh, the July the 14th, we hadn't seen what the rival experiment would also see. Um, and so just being there and being part of the, those announcements was was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. The thing I really like about physics is really that sense of the unknown, where we don't know what we will find in the, in the data we're looking at. So we, we just have all this data collected, produced by the Large Hadron Collider and collected by the experiments. But uh, until we start to analyze that data, we don't know whether we'll find new particles or new forces uh, or how, how things will behave. Uh, and then it's that sense of exploration that really drives it forward.